try to download the videos. Okay, after the tenth, okay, all these will, uh, videos will be wiped out in Skype. In Skype, it will just give you the uh, thirty days of time. I think so, not the thirty days, twenty five days, something. Okay, right, no issue. So we are just doing the testing. Okay, for that thing, what we will do? Go to the transaction for FB sixty ma'am, and try to post uh, three invoices. Uh, for one vendor, three invoices for another vendor. Go to the transaction code FB60. Uh, try to post three invoices for one vendor, three invoices for another vendor. No, no, just give the backspace, ma'am. Automatically it will come. First, get, uh, first take on one thing, or else then after that thing, just give the backspace automatically. It will come. No issue. Hmm. No issue, ma'am. Hmm. Give the jail account. Just give backspace in laptop. Just click on the backspace. Automatically it will come. Hmm, click on the enter. Uh, try to post uh, uh, three more invoices for uh, different vendor. I'm trying to post. Uh, uh, OK, uh, two more invoices for this one. Oh, total invoices are one, huh? No, sir, just OK, 
Yes, can you give me Ma'am, uh, every time no need to go to the drop down option. Okay, in your laptop, keypad, backspace. Okay, go one backspace option will be there. Okay, just click on that option. Automatically, you will get it. Okay, just give a gmail account. Go to the simple and answer. Okay, enough. Go to the transaction code FBL1 and go to the transaction code FBL1 in. This lesson, go to the transaction code FBL1 in. Uh, take out the vendor. Take out the vendor. First vendor or take out the two vendor, second vendor. Okay, go to the execute option. Now. Lower limit is greater than first give the uh, lower limit and then next give the upper limit. Fine. Go to the continue option. Okay, for this vendor, okay, four uh, double four three one double five. Okay, we do have one like eighty thousand rupees. And then next for uh, uh, this, uh, come down, ma'am. Sensitive transport and the name is cement. Can you come down? What about the second vendor? Huh? Go up. Double four three one double five. Give slash in or else come back. Sir, first vendor Siva Shakti is one lakh eighty thousand, sir. Oh, okay. I got the point, ma'am. But have you posted the? Uh, I mean, uh, three more invoices for the one more vendor. Okay, you do one thing. Come back. Come back. Okay, remove this uh, two vendor double four three one uh, double five. Okay, go to the execute option. Okay, you have posted one lakh eighty thousand rupees. So got it. Mm, right. So can you give slash in? Huh? Give slash in. So one lakh eighty thousand is there and two lakh seventy thousand is there. Okay. So now we will going to run the uh, payments. Okay. We will going to run the automatic payment program for two vendors. Go to the transaction code F double one zero one and uh, try to give the run date as zero two dot zero seven dot two thousand twenty three and give the identification and give the identification dr one and go to the parameter. And go to the parameter and just give the company code dur1 and give the payment method. Yes, and give the next payment date is uh, 02.07.2023. Okay, and take out the vendor. Fine. 
first take out the four, fourth vendor, then take out the fifth vendor. That should be in your order wise. Uh, go to the free selection tab now. So in the free selection tab, we can able to exclude each and everything and we can able to include each and everything. Next posting date must be later than the posting data. Uh, or else uh, give 0, 03. Uh, click on the enter and go to the free selection tab. OK, so in the free selection tab, we will have scenarios all of you how we can able to exclude the vendors, how we can able to exclude the customers, how we can able to exclude the document number ranges and all. OK, I mean invoice documents, numbers and all. So that is another uh, thing. Okay. We will discuss all these things in uh, one class. Go to the additional log. Go to the additional log. OK, and uh, uh, check with the due date check and the next one is a payment method if not successful and uh, give the vendor. Yes. Go to the parameter and try to copy this first vendor and paste it in the additional lock. And paste it in the additional lock. So remove this. Uh, yes. And go to the parameter once again. Mm -hmm. Give number five. And go to the parameter and go to the status. Save it. Go to the status and save it. So all these parameters have been entered. So can you go to the proposal run? Go to the proposal run. And give the start immediately option. On this date only, we are executing the payments. OK, go to the schedule option. Click on the enter. Enter. OK, so payment proposal have, uh, has been created. So go to the edit proposal now, pencil edit proposal. Yes. So go to the continue option now. So now you can just see all of you, all these payments have been there in the proposal run. OK, so for the particular vendor, you can just see, observe. So for the particular customers, sorry, for the particular second vendor, you have seen the payments. So total payments is 4,50,000 rupees. 1,80,000, 2,70,000 $2 is nothing but the 4,50,000 rupees, right? OK, so this is the way we can able to do the payments. Come back and go to the payment run. Go to the payment run. OK, start immediately and go to the continue option. Yes. And can you click on the enter? See all of you, one generated, sorry, two generated and two completed. OK, two vendors generated, two vendors completed. Now we will check with the each and every vendor whether these open items are cleared or not using transaction code FBL1. Go to the transaction code FBL1. Yes, and go to the no, 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 just try with one window. Try with one window. OK, there is no open items. Go to the clear items. Go to the clear items and execute it. Now see all of you, this 180,000 has been. Cleared with the document type ZB. You got my point? So give slash in, come back. And remove this uh, four now and give five. Click on the enter, go to the continue option. OK, this 270 is also cleared. OK, all of you. So please try to do your configurations, create your house tanks, new house tanks and all. Then send me the screenshot in the SAP FA civil group. Okay, if you face any errors regarding with house banks or regarding with the automatic payment program payment run, okay, please try to send the screenshot here. I will try to help you. Or else, uh, if any other person has got the solution, definitely they will going to help you on the particular error. Okay, please try to do the configurations 
and today uh, you need holiday so today we have class at 6 pm also sir if you need holiday take it there is no issue if you don't want okay, i will take the class sir Tom? hello sir Uh, yes, uh, sir, uh, actually, uh, clearing the Jadvi cut, sir. Jadvi is uh, sir. See, the thing is that you are processing the payments. So, Jadvi is the processing of the payments uh, things. Jadvi is the clearing documents. Okay, whatever the things that you have posted, okay, that is clear documents, right? Based on the clear documents, you are clearing the documents with the help of payment postings. Okay, you are posting the payments. So that is why it is taking the ZP. Or else uh, you can just go to that uh, thing. Mm. Automatic payment program, FP ZP. Automatic payment program, FP ZP. Go to the transaction code, FP ZP, ma'am. Mm. Go to the payment method in country. Mm, take out to your address. Can you come clearing document types? Is a document type? Okay, okay. Right, right. So I got the point. So that is, we have changed the number range, right, ma'am? 21 is the number range for the ZV Z document, right? Yes. So the standard system is following the 20th number range. You no need to worry. There is no issue. If you change the for automatically document type will be the ZV only. OK, your doubt is, uh, uh, AFS, your uh, question is correct. OK, we have changed the number range. Yes, sir. OK, no issue. OK, and if you do you have any doubts on these payments? Yesterday you have seen with one vendor. Today you have seen with the two vendors. OK, so I mean, in real time, uh, we do uh, payments for uh, different types of vendors. Okay. So do your configuration and uh, create your house banks, own house banks and all, and try to uh, do the testings also, so that you will going to face many errors in SAP S4 HANA system. Okay, please try to do all these things, all of you. I will going to stop this recording.